Now, a St. Andrew homeowner is appealing to the police high command to launch an investigation into the circumstances under which a policeman allegedly dragged her to the Constant Spring Police Station recently using what she deemed intimidatory tactics. After filing a complaint to the Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, the retired journalist says she's going public on condition of anonymity as she fears for her life. Here's Nika Lewis with her story. What began as an interaction between a landlady and her newest tenant later became a tussle between said landlady and a policeman said to be convivial with the lady's tenant. On recognizing that he had nothing to stand on, I took my phone again and attempted to make a call. The gentleman grabbed my hand, pulled my phone from it, and when I tried to take it back, he wrestled the phone out of my hand, took it to walk it over to another desk and put it down, and then he came back to me. And I said, why you take my phone from me? He said he's afraid of me recording him. So by this, we're there. So he says, what is your name? This is how she said things came to a head shortly after an initial trip to the Constant Spring Police Station after the alleged destruction of her property by said tenant. He came there 8.30 and I went out to the gate. I did not leave the police station until almost midnight. That is how long he was there hurling abuses at me and, and just trying to intimidate me. But because he had formed a relationship with my tenant, this is why he was doing the things that he was doing. Now, my concern is, if I can be in my home having domestic dispute and a police officer can form a relationship with a tenant and engage himself to the point that he's willing to come, threaten, hurl abuse at me, what else can happen to me? And I have, applied, I have appealed to the rent board because this girl has threatened me prior. So now she has come with ammunition. And I believe that they are prepared to get me out of my own home. She insists her safety is now compromised and all because of what she says is the attempt of intimidation which she has since reported to the Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, and later to the Constabulary's Inspectorate and Professional Standards Oversight Bureau, IPROBE. One of his questions to me was if my house was being sold. What? And if I was willing to sell it to him. Yes, that is what the police officer asked me. So in my humble opinion, and I am not always very wrong, I believe because he came there and whatever the young lady had told him, somewhere along the line, this officer felt that he could have come there and settled and take over my place and intimidated me to the point that I had to leave. She's pleading for some action to be taken against this policeman with a special plea to the commissioner. I'm appealing to all offices, Mr. Commissioner, please assist me because I am in fear of my life. I can also add that when the gentleman came to the house, I have another tenant at the back in which he was in dispute with them as well. Up to Saturday, he had drawn gun on one of them. Yes, I so he's a very troubled cop based on what I am learning. But up in the commissioner's office, I can show you him parked at my gate Tuesday morning at 8 or 9 a.m. And in within 12 hours, he was back at my gate claiming that he was going to arrest me for some unfounded reason. So Mr. Commissioner, Dr. Blake, I am appealing to you to take action. Despite allegedly serving two notices on the tenant, she says the tenant has told her relatives she will not be moving from the premises. The property owner says she's hoping to have a date in court to seek further remedy for hundreds of thousands in unpaid rent. Nika Lewis, CVM News.